People breathe 23,000 times a day. Once you stop breathing, the body breaks down. No breath, no life. Do you understand this fact better than the doctors treating COVID-19 patients in ICUs around the world? And they're all in a race against time. While many countries' healthcare systems fell short, Turkey stood up to the challenge under the leadership of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Individuals and institutions alike have come together to create vital solutions. Turkey's ministries of industry and technology, as well as the Ministry of Health, coordinated to produce what all knew would become in high demand. Respiratory ventilators. The R&D infrastructure built from nothing 18 years ago was put to the test, and it passed. Turkish startup Biosis sparked the idea of producing ventilators domestically with government support. Soon thereafter, Turkish defense giants Aselsan and Baykar tacked on their technical support. With Arçelik soon to follow with their engineering power and strength in mass production. Engineers from Arçelik, Baykar and Aselsan embarked on a restless endeavor under the coordination of the Ministry of Industry and Technology. They iterated on the mechanical design and software, domestically producing critical parts that no one was so much as willing to sell at the time. Solunum cihazlarını üretme noktasında yoğun bir çalışmayı şu anda kurumlarımız devam ediyor. The first product, made from scratch, was prepared within two weeks for serial production. This domestic ventilator, built upon the efforts of Turkish engineers, passed all its tests with flying colors. The machines are now in use and assuredly saving lives. This is the country of the resilient. The descendants of heroes who didn't retreat in the most difficult of battles. We are grateful to our president for his firm resolve and leadership. And to our engineers whose talent and efforts has given many the chance to breathe again.